what's up guys let's start with the formal definition of what a catalyst is and actually it's any substance that affects the rate of reaction but is not consumed and it's not changed and it's going to stay uh, like that even though you are exper experimenting a rate of reaction normally higher than normal the catalyst uh, usually changes a reaction rate by promoting different molecular paths we're going to see that later but you know it it's a mechanism we've seen it before and essentially is instead of going from a let's say this is high energy and you produce C you're going to go and form a S and then a S goes and forms a S2 and then a S2 gets B and then a B S2 goes and form S2 C which is C and then it desorbs and you produce eventually from I and B you're going to produce C so essentially you have different paths in which they will require less energy and of course will go faster because of that uh, it's very important to tell you guys that it only changes the rate of reaction that is how much or how many moles are reacting per unit time but does not affect the equilibrium that's more into thermodynamics we're going to speak right now only but only on with uh, kinetics guys so equilibrium is not going to be changed for example you know A plus B produces C and you know that at normally at this temperature you will only get 80% in let's say 5 hours well we're going to see that that will be the case as well but for example the same percentage is going to be achieved in 2 hours let's say so you're going to have C also 80% so no higher conversion is achieved even though we're going to find later that certain catalysts for example if you have a and b and you add them palladium you will react c but if you were to have only a and b and no catalyst you will react anything so technically you will not react so what you want is of course produce that let's continue a little bit on catalysts uh, they usually go faster for the for our reactor design it requires less activation energy and less free energy to reach the transition state and you know the transition state we're going to see that later but uh, essentially the energy required to get into A and B ready to react is going to be decreased also the Total energy, guys, on the molecules will eventually not change. The enthalpy of reaction is not going to change. If you need A plus B to react C and you have a delta of enthalpy. And if you use a catalyst, even though it's going to be faster, you still, you're going to have the same change on enthalpy. That's very important, guys. Once again, let me show you the energy. This is about free energy. You don't think it's about enthalpy so you know x y and c is our product they will need to experience high energy they will need to collide and crash between them in order to start reacting once they start reacting you start liberating energy and this is the energy i'm telling you about the activation energy plus the free energy and if you were to add a catalyst you're going to need less energy look maximum energy is going to be almost half of that original uh, normally if you have a perfect case you will never need to get more catalyst but the actual case is that catalyst will either uh, deactivate they will get poisoned they will get coked and they will be reacted in secondary processes so you go and you will need eventually to recover that catalyst material there are many type of catalyst recovery due to the high prices of it uh, of course I told you before they are even custom made or process made catalyst and that implies a lot of money guys so that's a little bit into catalyst we're going to continue with what an inhibitor is What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? 
it really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.